hi guys welcome to another video today we're going to be making some peanut sauce we'll start with some onions then tomato a little bit of cooking oil last but not least some salt that is just it and the main ingredient will be raw peanuts so they are grinded in two cups of water we'll start with one tablespoon of cooking oil don't use a lot of it we're just using a little bit to saute the onions the peanuts will generate extra oils needed so the purpose of this step is just to have the onions translucent develop some little flavor you can add a little bit of garlic but this is just a plain peanut sauce so we'll just use onions and tomatoes add in the tomatoes then mix it in once the onions are nice and translucent add in some little salt for the flavor remember you need some taste in your peanut sauce afterwards we're not going to cook down the tomatoes but you can also use blended tomatoes if you want the peanut sauce to be nice and smooth for me i just found that the tomatoes will cook down evenly as the peanut sauce cooks because you're going to cook this sauce for almost 20 minutes once you add in your raw peanut paste just give it a good stir a little to break down the bigger chunks and go in with your two cups of water we'll start with two cups but we'll adjust the sauce accordingly give it a good mix and then cover it let it cook for the first 10 minutes you'll notice that at first the sauce is watery and it's not much but you'll see the magic at the end of the first five or ten minutes it's more like cooking porridge this is after approximately five minutes or say eight minutes as you can see the sauce has really transformed it's starting to take shape the thickness has started to develop it just looks almost there but not quite give it a good stir now as it starts to thicken it will also start sticking to the bottom of your pan so from this point you need to keep stirring it as much as possible if you know how to cook porridge from this stage that is the process because you don't want it to burn at the bottom so you need to keep stirring it cover it a little bit and then give it a good stir and let it cook Now this is how it looks after around 15 minutes it's starting to come together and it's more uniform even as i stir it you will notice that it moves uniformly it's thicker and from this point it will start to cook down quite fast because the oils have also started to separate Now this is after our last 5 minutes. Remember we are cooking it down for around 20 minutes and as you can see from the edge down towards the center of the pan it just comes like you know it's it's one. It moves as if it's one now. And as you can see from the edges as I move the cooking stick there are some traces of oil that you'll see towards the edges of your pan that's when you know that your sauce has cooked down nicely and it's ready you see i don't know let me try to see if i can show you just a moment i'm not sure if you're able to see but as i move the cooking stick can you see the edges of the pan it's some little oil there's some oils generally 
I would highly recommend cooking this sauce in a non-stick pan. I've also cooked it in the normal pans, like the normal sufurias, but they need extra attention, like extra extra attention. For non-stick pans, it gives you some room kidogo. So in as much as you're keeping an eye on it, sisana and burning is not as fast as the normal sofurias <laughs> but if you're going to use the normal sofuria just keep a closer eye on it like you would while making porridge now for those who don't know how to make porridge just extra attention don't leave it there with that said we're going to start serving as our sauce is ready so i served this with some matoke you can serve this with anything literally anything you want but for me i really love it with matoke this is how you do it first start with your matoke go in with your sauce now for the sauce you can be extra <laughs> come on mimi to note as the sauce cools down it will also thicken more so you can warm it up a little before serving other serving options are like ugali, rice, meat, ama just a mixture of your favorite dish. This sauce pairs well with literally everything. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to leave your comments down below. Let me know what you served your sauce with and what worked well for you. If you're new here, remember to subscribe. So until next time, bye.